So the project actually is the amalgamation of three colleges into one super campus, as they call it, the City of Glasgow College. Uh, originally there was 11 buildings uh, spread around the whole of the centre of Glasgow uh, and these are all being brought together in two buildings including this one in the city centre. A critical aspect of the student experience really operates at a very basic level of daylight, natural ventilation, access to a view. But I think the more critical aspect of the building and its, its location, its relationship to the city, and that operates on many levels, from the level of the facade, the depth of the facade, which projects an image of the college to the city and therefore raises those students' aspirations. The significant part of the, the client's input to the, the design really was their absolute ambition to place the student right at the, at the forefront of the brief and really of the response in building terms to that. So the, the, the challenge really was to create industry standard spaces and facilities that would project their students out into the city. What, what we were trying to do was to create um, twofold really. A building that, that was ambitious, that was exciting, that could allow students to express ambition. But at the same time it had to be a building that nurtured them, focused them on their course and on their learning. So it was a kind of strange kind of mixture of a building that, that could project a kind of dynamism but at the same time had a sense of calm and peace that allowed them to study and, and, and do the best that they could. From a technical point of view, it was very important that the whole building was a space for learning and teaching. Actually, that was the motto we had at the very start, was that every square inch of this building was for teaching and learning. Actually, the building is also a learning tool. The building, we've deliberately expressed the, the services and the structure because there, the school of construction's here. You know, there's design, architectural design students here as well. So we deliberately want to actually create a building that they could look at and say, yeah, that's how we build buildings. So that was another important aspect of our design. I think a process like the Stirling Prize uh, gives you a little bit of time to reflect on <laughs> What, what the building might be about. Mm -hmm. and I, think, I think it's true that we, as architects, we, we can only operate in the culture and the society that we are asked to operate in. So I think what's interesting about this building is it does attempt to deal with a situation where there's not so much money flowing around. We're doing things very, very quickly um, at speed. And so the question I'm kind of interested in is what kind of architecture comes out of that culture? And I think we've attempted to say it could be this kind of architecture. What this building has done is actually raise the level of expectancy of the staff and the students in this college. They've come from buildings that were very substandard. The further education system uh, is generally the poor cousin of the education system. And this building has actually created something they can inspire to. You know, they, they can walk into this building uh, and uh, they can take a real pride and a real ownership and have passion. And, you know, for us as architects to achieve something like that is something that we're really proud of.